In this video, we're gonna look at two flamenco tangos falsetas using the pulgar. Hey everyone, David Cheriboga here and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, this is the place to find Spanish guitar tutorials to help you start playing guitar from the ground up. So today's video is part four of my tangos tutorial series and today we're gonna to be working on a falseta, our first falseta for tangos. And if you're not familiar with the word falseta, all that means is a small musical phrase or section within a style of flamenco. The two falsetas that we're gonna look at today are relatively not too complicated with the left hand fingering. However, they're a little bit of tongue twisters and use pull-offs and hammer-ons. So if you're not familiar with pull-offs and hammer-ons yet, then definitely check out my pull-offs and hammer-on video first, and then after that, come back here. Now slowly. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. So just be careful with the transition between part A and part B of this falseta because that part B comes in right away, right after that rasgueado. So one. And there's also a lot of syncopated upbeats that start the phrases there. So we start on that first upbeat by doing the And then as we explained in the previous videos, we close out with a llamada. And it doesn't have to be this one, it could be any of the llamadas that we worked on before or any llamada you personally know. So just a reminder, when you're doing pull-offs with flamenco or classical guitar, make sure you're plucking off that string. You're making that left hand pluck. Because it's not exactly like an electric guitar where you could just take the left finger off the string and it still vibrates and has sound because of the amplification. With nylon stringed acoustic guitars, you wanna make sure you get a little bit more power by plucking. And you pluck the string by just basically pushing against the fretboard and pushing downwards. All right, let me know in the comments if you found this lesson to be helpful or if you found it to be a little difficult for a beginner intermediate series. Or also let me know what else you'd like me to add to this Dangos tutorial series. As always, keep practicing, be patient, and don't forget to enjoy the journey. See you in the next video.